Hi guys, this current challenge is called flipping bits. Here we're going to receive a 32 bit unsigned integer and we have to flip all the bits inside that number and print the results as an unsigned integer. An example is what you can see here. Let's say we have that number here. That is a bit representation of the decimal number one. If we flip that, then we will get one, 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 zero here. And that is the base representation of the decimal number 14, because then we have eight plus four plus two. Of course, in this Hagran challenge, we're not going to deal with only four bits. We are going to be dealing with 32 bits. In other words, four bytes. So if we want to flip the bits, one method is not the fastest method, but one method that works is simply to use a bitwise XOR operator. So the logic is we are going to have a number one, an unsigned constant, which is going to be of value one. And we are going to shift it and compare it with the bits of the original number, just like that. If I have a number zero or a bit that is zero from the original number, and I compare it with one using exclusive or, then I'm going to get one because the bitwise XOR operator will return you one if the bits are different. On the other hand, if I have one, in my original number, let's say the bits from the original number is one at a certain position, and I compare it with one using the XOR operator, I'm going to get zero because these are not different. If this is one, then this has to be zero and vice versa. So if I compare one with one with XOR, then I'm going to get zero. And notice here that the original bits will change to one. So zero will change to one and one will change to zero. So that's the logic here. And this is how it works in code. So this is my function. It expects a long integer as the return value. And the name of the function is flipping bits. So here we receive a long integer called n as reference. And we're simply going to loop through the bits of that number. Now we already know that in this challenge, we are going to be dealing only with 32 bits unsigned integers. And that is why I have this hard coded value here, 32 inside my for loop. And at every iteration, I'm going to shift the unsigned constants one, and I'm going to shift it by I. So at first I'm going to shift it like one position, then two positions. And at every iteration, I'm going to compare it with the bits at the position I from the original number n. So this here is x or equal, which is the same thing as me saying n equals this right here. So after I shift the unsigned constant one by i position, I compare it with the bits at the position i inside of n, and that's how I flip it using the x or operator. Once I'm done with these operations here through my for loop, I simply return n. So let's run this code first to make sure that we pass all the test cases. And then I'm going to show you a faster way of solving that challenge with a simple line of code. So we've passed all the uh, test cases. I'm just going to submit it. And I'm going to submit it again after I show you the second method. So this method here works, but you can also get a bit smarter and simply use the bitwise complement operator. And that's how it works. You would simply have a return statement that returns and like this. But here, although the complement operator flips the bits, as in it changes one to zero and zero to one, if I run this code, I'm going to get an error because then I'm going to get negative values. So let's check if that is true. And you can see in my expected outputs, I get negative 2 billion something, negative 2, and negative 1. What I need to do here is cast this to an unsigned integer like this, meaning unsigned integer. Now, if you are wondering where I got that idea from, they actually give you the hints in the instructions because they say here we are dealing with 32 bits unsigned integers. And in the um, function description, they also say that we should return an unsigned decimal integer. So that's how you know that you need to cast this. You need to cast the complement here for n to an unsigned integer. Now let's run this code and we should be able to pass all the three sample test cases. So indeed, we've passed sample test case 0, 1, and 2. Now let's submit this code and make sure that we pass all the 11 test cases. And we just did. 
So it's up to you what you want to use. You can use the bitwise complement operator, or you can follow my technique here, particularly if you are learning and you want to be more familiar with shifting operations. So that's it for this hacker rank challenge. If you guys liked my video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. Make sure you turn on your notifications to be notified whenever I post a new hacker rank solution or a new programming video. And if you want more videos on bit manipulation in C++, please let me know in the comment section and I will consider whatever you request. So that's it. I'll catch you next time. Bye.